ESCOM has achieved an unprecedented feat, providing uninterrupted electricity to the country for over 50 days. This record-breaking streak has raised eyebrows and sparked curiosity among the public, the media and experts. How has ESCOM managed this impressive accomplishment and what factors have contributed to this unexpected turn of events? As news of the uninterrupted power supply spread, so did speculation and conspiracy theories. Some believe that ESCOM is deliberately withholding information about the true state of the power grid, while others think that the utility is manipulating the system to impress the voters before the national elections on 29 May. Some have even suggested that ESCOM are running the open cycle gas turbines at full capacity, which is burning a ridiculous amount of diesel. But ESCOM has denied this. The public and media have raised concerns about transparency and sustainability of ESCOM's power supply. Questions have been asked about the utility's ability to maintain this level of performance particularly given its history of load shedding and blame shifting. The media has scrutinized ESCOM's claims, seeking answers about the measures taken to ensure the reliability of the power grid. Has ESCOM pushed a magic button? Or have they really managed to fix things? And for how long will they remain fixed? ESCOM attributes the success to a combination of factors, including improved maintenance and repair of power generation units, increased electricity imports from neighboring countries, effective management of the power grid, and reduced demand due to cooler weather. While these factors may have played a role, some might question whether this is the whole story and whether ESCOM's sudden turnaround is too good to be true. After all, the utilities track record has been marred by years of mismanagement and neglect. In a surprise move, ESCOM has rehired over two dozen former employees, including skilled engineers and technicians, to help address the utility's operational challenges and stem the decline of its generating fleet. Did they finally listen to good advice? This move comes after ESCOM launched its skills crowdsourcing platform, which aims to tap into the expertise of skilled and former employees. The rehiring of experienced staff is seen as a crucial step in addressing the utility's skills shortage, which has been exacerbated by a large-scale exodus of skilled workers over the years. Trade Union Solidarity has welcomed the move stating that it is a positive development that will help improve ESCOM's operational performance and reduce the risk of load shedding. The rehired employees will be deployed in various capacities, including training and mentoring less experienced staff. Let's hope that ESCOM learns from this experience. The upcoming national elections on 29 May has also been cited as a possible factor in ESCOM's sudden and surprising ability to provide uninterrupted power. Some speculate that the ruling party is exerting pressure on ESCOM to maintain a stable power supply, purely coincidentally, right before the election. Others believe that ESCOM is attempting to boost public confidence in the government's ability to manage the country's energy needs. Because a sudden competence in energy management is definitely not a political ploy. As the country continues to enjoy uninterrupted power, it is crucial to engage in open and informed discussions about the factors driving this success and implications for the future of South Africa's energy landscape. After the elections, the sustainability of ESCOM's performance remains a concern, and the public and the media must continue to scrutinize the utility's claims and actions. But what do you think? I love reading your comments. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, as I do have a few more stories to tell. I will catch you in the next video.